Are you bogged down on which calculator you should use for the SAT? Make sure to check this video out because we're going to go over the three main calculator types and which one you should use to speed up on the math section for your SAT test. It's Asia here and welcome to The Purpose of Prep, your one-stop shop for everything study skills, college admissions, and SAT prep. And I get this question a lot. What calculator should I use? Is this one good enough? What's the difference between these calculators? And the list goes on. So I'm gonna take this quick video here to cover the three calculator types you can choose from and my personal recommendation for what you should choose when taking your SAT test. So let's get started. The first calculator type is called the four function calculator. And this is the most basic type of calculator that you can choose. It manages the four main functions of addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. Now you may find some four function calculators that do cover percents and square roots, but at the bare minimum, they cover the four functions that you will use in math. Now, the second type of calculator type you can choose from is the scientific calculator. Now, it obviously has the basic four functions like the four function calculator, but the scientific calculator takes it up a notch. You can now use the pi symbol. It has the three main trigonometric functions like sine, cosine, tan, and also their inverses. It can also calculate different types of roots, not just a square root, but cube roots and more. You can even work with exponents and the list goes on. So the scientific calculator is a big step up for the four function calculator and you can find it very useful when working through the math section and you don't have time to simplify your fractions. Well, a scientific calculator can do that for you as well. Now the last type of calculator is the graphing calculator, the holy grail of calculators. It does everything you can possibly think of that a calculator is allowed to do besides doing the work for you. It has everything the scientific function calculator has, but it comes with this new graphing capability. The display on this calculator is large enough so that you can see functions like parabolas or linear equations when you want to graph them which makes it very popular with a lot of students when they can't visualize the graphs on their own on the test. Now, the question is which one of these three you should choose? And my personal favorite and recommendation for all of my SAT prep students is the scientific calculator. It's one of the best things you can use for the test because it doesn't have the complicated functions that a graphing calculator has that can distract you from focusing on the test. And it's also not too basic like the four function calculator where there's not that many features. The scientific calculator has everything that you need in order to do well on both math sections on the SAT like simplifying fractions, pi symbol, different types of roots, and the many more features that I mentioned before. So I recommend you grab yourself a scientific calculator because this is gonna help you speed up on the math section. But most importantly, just make sure you know how to use the features on your calculator beforehand, no matter which one you choose, because you don't wanna get bogged down on test day trying to figure out which button does what. I hope you enjoyed this short, quick video on different types of calculators and which one you should choose for the SAT. If you want the official list of approved calculators for the SAT, click the link in the description to go to College Board's website and see that list and make sure your calculator is on there. Now, if you want more detail on the different calculator types, check out the link to my blog post in the description where I write in more detail about each type of calculator and why I prefer the scientific one. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, make sure to click the like button below and give us a subscribe here at The Purpose of Prep, where we provide free content for students and parents on college admissions, study skills, and SAT prep. So, as we say here at The Purpose of Prep, work hard, study smart, and I hope to catch you in the next video.